Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the th second of the three Sentai series I am going to be covering for Super Sentai Night. It is Tuesday. The first one was as Osama Sentai King Oger and now I'm covering Avatar Dawn Brothers I think it's called. Something maybe Avatar Dawn Brothers. So the premise of this show is I don't know <laughs> basically. Uh, the the first episode centers around a girl, and this is something that I never thought a show would do. Most of the shows introduce all of the Power Rangers all at once, and the main character is usually male. So, I am kind of impressed that the main character in this show, or at least the character we're focusing on in episode one, is a female. So, the main character for the first episode is a young lady, I believe her name is Haruka? And she is a manga author because for some reason manga authors in high school is a thing in Japan. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is just me watching too much anime or, or if this is actually a common thing. And y'all can tell me down in the comments if this is a common thing. Because I don't know if this is a common thing. Do people in high school gen generally rate manga that much? But she is a mangaka in high school and she and one day she is accused of plagiarism falsely i think it's supposed to be falsely but we never really get the sense but considering she's the main character i'm guessing she's falsely accused she loses everything she loses her publishing she loses her boyfriend because he doesn't want to be associated with a thief and he literally says that to her he literally says i don't want to date a thief and i i don't really blame him for that but she loses all her friends, and in the process, she is, like, forced onto these glasses. It's it's very weird. It's very strange how it happens. These glasses kind of eject themselves onto her face, like, literally, like, rocking themselves onto her face. And when she goes outside, she can see people with these weird alien spiral faces, and, of course, she starts freaking the hell out because it's weird and it, it makes you think that, like, she's on drugs or something. So, she starts running on and away and people people start attacking her over it because, obviously, these aliens don't want to be seen. Uh, so, they, they attack her and then she's saved by this guy and th this guy saved her earlier. And he, like, attacked an alien, and he was a Power Ranger. It's very, very strange. But I like the fact that she's kind of confused. So she, she gets her armor, and she's like, what 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 the hell is this? But at the same time, she's like, oh, this is so cool. And she's acting like a high schooler. That's the difference here. It, what impresses me is that she's acting, actually acting like a high schooler. Like, oh my god, this is so cool. It's weird. I don't know what I'm doing. But oh my god, this armor is so cool. And this gun is so cool. And that's where we leave off on the first episode. Is that these aliens clearly don't want to be found. So they're going to come after her. But uh, that's it. That there's There's not a lot of plot in episode one. Uh, do we get any more? No, we don't. Um, th that's, that's all we get in episode one. I'm sorry this is so short, but this is probably the shortest of the three videos because I have one more to do after this. Uh, Osama King Ocher is the longest, obviously, because that has the most plot. I love the girl. I think she's fun. I like her personality. Uh, I, I hope she's the female lead. I hope she's the lead, actually. Because I would hate, hate to think that somebody else is the lead. She's just really, really awesome. But uh, that is it for today. And I have one more video. And I will see you guys for our se Russia Sentai Tokyo. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I will see you guys for that.